I just break something? What just happened? Uh, Ashes of War, Dagger, Golden Vow. Good matter. Um, and I'm gonna keep. I could put. I could put the shield skill. Now here's a question. Wait a second. When I use Sacred Blade, it buffs my sword with a holy buff. Is that gonna stack with the other one? Can I actually do both? I can. Wow. Oh, Code Nautica. Is that the exact stuff? Thank you. Thank you. So now I can do this. Wow, there goes all of my mana. But hey, worth, man. I mean, we are like super buffed right now. Okay, dude. Hmm. Oh, wait. You have to do Golden Bow first. So wait, you're telling me my weapon enchant will go through resting at a bonfire, but not through switching weapons? That's weird. That's strange. Okay. Uh, so first we do this. Let me switch and do this. Beautiful. Okay. Now let's try this out real quick. Well, it's doing okay. All right. Hey, look, some daggers. <laughs> what? What? All right, anyway, come on, let's go. I swear it's something. I, I, sometimes these loot systems, I'm convinced, are just here to troll us. Wow, it's already gone. Oh, jeez. It didn't last very long. Is this a new run from the last run from like two days ago? Yes, this is the new, new run. Did I finish Castle Morn? No, we didn't do the boss. Chad, are we doing this? Is this happening right now? Are we about to fight Margit? Which is definitely the way you pronounce that name. <gasps> is that Rogier? We can summon him in this fight? I'm totally doing that. I wonder if it's going to change his dialogue when we meet him. I'm totally doing that. Okay. See, this stuff is cool. This is, this is why I wanted to do summons. That's cool, man. Okay. All right, so we do Golden Vow first. Wait, I'm gonna wanna do this after the cutscene, I think. I'm gonna try. Four is fine? Okay, we'll do it right here. Wow, picked a good spot. <laughs> Foul tarnished. In search of the Elden Ring. Oh God, he's holy. Emboldened. He's holy. By the flame of ambition. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah, we got the emotional support cat going right now. Thy flame. Ah, we good. Let it be Margit the Fell. Oh my god, we are hitting for actual pennies. Can't even guard out of this room.
So just wondering, Roger, are you gonna are you gonna help? <laughs> Wait, did the shackle not do anything? Well, thou art of passing skill. Warrior blood must truly run in thy veins. That was that was stressful. <laughs> that was so good though. Oh my lord. Rogier died though. I hope uh hands of the fell omen shaft brook thee no quarter. I I hope that Rogier is uh still with us. there first off well done thanks guy all right we continue chat we continue equip another charm i think i will get some regen going on up in here although i'm kind of curious about this one now like, this buffs our holy damage? Really? By how much? <laughs> hmm. Oh, I'm fat rolling? Oh, you do take a lot more damage with that? Okay, that's good to know. Uh, These would be the safe one. We'll do this one for now. I mean, that, that's like the that's the classic safe option. We'll do that for now. Okay. Oh, I just remembered. We're going to have to fight the dragon in the basement. That's going to be a thing. That's going to be a thing this run. Those dragons are notoriously hard to block, if I remember right. I think so. Because they hit so often that it just immediately staggers your shield. Mm. How many deaths in this place? Oh, many. <laughs> many, many deaths in this place. Yes. There will be many deaths. Many deaths. This guy we're gonna let live this time, I think. We killed him last time, we'll let him live this time. You there, C come over here, won't you? you you're, you're tarnished, aren't you? I would advise against taking the main gate into the castle. It's tightly guarded by hardened old hands. Oh, tr tr try the opening right here. The guards don't know about it. You'll breach the castle undetected. Very well. Yes, that's the spirit. You're just the kind of tarnish that I like. Co, I didn't know XQC was I in this game. I pray for your success. Bro. 
bro. Okay, use the gun. You'll slip. Be nice to our friend here. Come on. Rude. <clears throat> uh, all right, let's go. <laughs> Jokes, friends. Chill. Okay. Oh, this is the murder birds. Oh, I hate this area. I hate this area. <laughs> These birds. Oh, thank God. I was going to say, if we can one round them with a, with a freaking guard counter, that'd be great. Okay. That, that felt, that felt good. Smart guy Ko makes comment about one-shotting enemy proceeds to buff damage. Alright. Alright. Cool. Makes sense. Not a waste of mana. <clears throat> just in case. That's right. Just in case. Just in case. Mm-mm. Okay. Uh, Mountain Mama says, I played V Rising last night on Brutal and the bosses seem a lot more balanced than before. Okay. Yeah, I did see that in the patch notes, they made a whole bunch of changes, so. Nice. Oh, that's not nice. Oh my god. Jerk. Wow. Okay. Hey, Smithing Stone 3. Oh, finally. I'm looking everywhere for those. Oh, look at that over there. Behold, church. Yeah, man. <laughs> Red just said, holy crap, did you start at seven this morning? I mean, a little. <laughs> we might have started a little early this morning. What's that message say? I like it. Okay. I like it. Why are you streaming this game so much? I'm just trying to make my YouTube people happy, man. I, you know? <clears throat> Somebody a couple days ago said they canceled their Netflix subscription when they found my YouTube. So now I, I gotta give them stuff to watch. Now I'm, now I'm mandated. Nope. Oh, I counter dude at him. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I reverse dude at him. You fell off the side, didn't you? You didn't! Good for you! You did, though. <gasps> Two. 
two non-gravity deaths next to an edge? We're not going to go three for three, are we? Wow! Look at you guys go. Damn. Okay. I, I am actually impressed. Okay. Not sure. You're the one that's going to change that? No. No, sir. You guys are so lazy. They're like, ah, do I have to swing this? Ugh, fine. Ugh, God. Man, we gotta get a better, yeah, we, we need to get, you know what we need to do? As soon as we're done with this area, we need to get the death root. We need to farm death root. I hope we can get all three. Uh, soon. Because, oh my lord, we need that regen so badly. So badly. In fact, I'm going to go back to this for now. Yep. Oh, shoot. A little risky there, but we got it. Ooh. Try rolling. I still haven't played this, but it looks really easy compared to Dark Souls. Um, the, I would, okay. So this game is the most approachable Souls-like. If you have an idea about how they operate. So that's, that's what I will say. If you know, if you know how to play it, then this is by far the easiest souls like like by far if you don't have any idea how to play it then it's comparable but if you know how to play a souls like in terms of like oh i just got my ass kicked by a boss i'm going to go do other things and get stronger before i come back if that's the way you know how to play this game this is by far the easiest souls like like by far the easiest um, but if you're the kind of person where you're like, I'm just going to keep moving forward and anytime I get to a challenge, I'm just going to throw myself at it until I beat it and I'm just going to keep going down the, then it's pretty much as hard as all the other souls likes. The thing that makes this one easier is that you have this giant open world that is full of loot runes and souls for you to get. So if you have, if you are stuck on a boss, unlike other souls games, which are just like, well, you just got to keep trying it until you beat it. I mean, yeah, sure, you can go, like, farm and, you know, do repeat content in other games, which some people do. But most players don't know how to do that. Most players don't know, oh, I can just go back to other bonfires and farm souls and get stronger. Most players don't know that. That's why Souls games are so hard. It's because they come up to a challenge and the game doesn't say this is going to get easier. The game says you better keep doing this until you beat it. And if you can't, well, then you're not progressing. <laughs> so... Elden Ring kind of flips that on its head, though. You get up to Margit, you know, you, you follow the main quest, you pop out of here, you follow your little things. Sure, it's pretty hard, but you get up to Margit, and Margit is on a completely different level than anything you've fought. Now, in a traditional Souls game, you would just have to keep fighting Margit over and over. But in this game, you're like, nope, let me go over here and get a whole bunch of stuff, and then I'll do these side dungeons that are super easy and get me more levels, and then I'll go kill this dragon, and then I'll... Get loot here and meet this guy. And and then I'll go back and fight Margit. <laughs> so it's that kind of thing. If you know what you're doing, this game is actually pretty freaking easy. But if you're a newer player, it's just as hard as every Souls like. That's how that works. And by the way, it is important. Um, and I saw someone in chat to say this. It's a little thing, but it is very important. This is not the most accessible Souls-like. This is the most approachable Souls-like. When you say accessible, you're specifically talking about like control schemes for disabled. 
boats and things like that. That's what accessible means. Accessible has a very specific meaning. Approachable means that gamers of all skill can play it. That's a, that's, it's different. So yeah, just keep that in mind. It's, it, we aren't talking about accessibility. It's not part of the discussion. But it is good to know. <laughs> because people that need accessibility options, for them, it literally means, you know, the difference between playing a game or not. So it is a very big deal to a lot of people, the difference between approachability and accessibility. There we go. Great. For most people I know, the open world was too hard and they stopped playing. Some people get super lost somehow. Well, to be fair, some people just get what's called decision paralysis. And that absolutely goes into open world video games. So there are some people, and, and I've actually, there's, there's people in this community that don't like Elden Ring because they get overwhelmed. They like other Souls games because they always have at least a decent idea of where to go, but in this game, they got totally overwhelmed. Even with the fire, even with the bonfires pointing them where to go, they still felt too overwhelmed, which is funny because I think the point of that mechanic was to not feel overwhelmed. Um, but even with that mechanic, uh, they still, it's just too much for them. Is that a skill issue? It's not a skill issue. It's just, it's just how you enjoy your games. It's not, it's not, it's not being good or bad at them. It's just you like having fun some people like their fun a bit more structured and a little less build it yourself i personally am a i like both I'm, I, I love a good sandbox game but i also love being told a good story so you know I'm, i find beautiful things in both of those but some people only like one and don't like the other you know and that's okay uh what does this guy do this guy's making me a little nervous up here is he gonna I guess I can't even see him down here. Okay. That's an interesting piece of art. That's a family tree. You guys see that? That's not, that's like, huh. I wonder if those actually represent people or if it's just like a fun little artwork. Interesting. Anyway, let me smash it. Was that thing always there? I mean, I assume so. I think so. Roll into it to go into Narnia? Oh, is that what it is? Cool. I tried to steal my monies. Hey, wait a second. Wait a second. Enhances guard counters? Okay. I have been known to counter a guard or two. Hmm. We haven't gone outside yet. Is that through here? Oh. I guess it must be up. Does parry count as a guard counter? So guard counter is a very specific thing in Elden Ring terminology. A parry is when you hit L2 and you get the timed minigame down to then open up a counter on the enemy, an actual counter. A guard counter is after you've successfully blocked within, I think it's two seconds, all you have to do is hit heavy attack. That's it. That's a guard counter. So 
parrying and guard countering are two different things. Parrying is essentially, oh, excuse me, guard counter is easy mode parrying. Parrying is stronger, but it is much harder. Also, guard countering can very easily be, um, like, if you, if you block the first attack of an enemy chain and you guard counter, they will continue the chain and just knock you right out of the counter. Uh, parrying does not do that. If you parrying, if you parry an enemy, you open a window. So it's it's a a different style of the mechanic. Go get the loot. I'm working on it, man. Working on it. What killed you? Oh. Oh. Well, that's good to know. <laughs> that's real good to know. All right. My turn. Yeah. Clouds. Badass. What a skybox. Jeez. See right there. So what he just did was his move actually is faster than my guard counter. So that's that's a good example of guard countering, you know, not being as good as parrying. to kick me over the side you ass i saw that okay man i'm actually getting low on um flasks here this isn't good okay uh let's see is this it's a little lighter but it's not that much worse Yeah, 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 we can do this. Yeah, that's great. Okay, that's that's much better. That's much better. Also, thanks to ever killed the shard bear, by the way. Wait, are we back at the beginning? Where are we? I swear there was a guy in here. Oh, okay, okay. Cool. Your mama's a brick. Do 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 hammer. Do do do. Uh, let's go this way. Oh, Copmo's dope. Why, oh, thanks, man. That's nice of you to say. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. 